ready to get us started. It's Cade York, and we are underway from MetLife Stadium. Takes it at the seventh. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. They'll start on the ground. Hall. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the field. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And taking it across midfield and just shooting it. He gets 17 more on that one and another first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Well, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, they just stuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now it's Wilson. Got a man, it's Barrios complete. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 23. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. Denzel Ward, the number four pick in the 2018 draft, making the tackle from his corner spot. Second and five now. Wilson. They'll set up the screen to Carter. And they've got this down to about the 12 yard line. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed, but that was really well designed there. And they're able to pick up a first down. Draw play, Carter. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That was a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Nine-yard line, second and six. Now Wilson. Over the middle, he gets it to Barrios. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. Well, safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now 4-4, four of four, but might need to be 5-5 five of five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a run. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Brees Hall, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Jets get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Zerline good. The score seven nothing. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. From his end zone, it's Demetric Felton, and it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the twenty-nine. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10. Just shy of the 30. Here's Watson. Flushed out right. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. 
from the gun. Here's Watson. Swings this out for Hunt. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. They'll come up now on second and a yard. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. They run again with Hunt. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. From the 38, Watson. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Now it's Watson. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. They will indeed snap it to Watson. And he's brought down. Can't do anything. It's a sack. And it's down. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And the Jets are going to get the football back. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. We're just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive. Their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Wilson now off the bootleg, out to his left. And this is going to be incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Open man is Uzama. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Play action. Now Wilson. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. John Johnson with the INT. Uh, certainly not his best throw that time and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do. It gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Play fake, and it's Watson. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. And it'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. Watson off play action. On the move to his left. Oh, into a sea of defenders have intercepted. Picked off by Quad Alexander. And the Jets are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. A 
throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Walker. And the Browns are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -to -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Throw left side complete. That's Hunt. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Watson on third down. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. Again, it's Watson. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs at a first down. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time when nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. To throw is Watson. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Watson's throw into the hands of Peoples-Jones. Now whistles at a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. York able to send this one through, and that will finish off this third quarter of play. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Both teams making their final adjustments for the second half to come. And to bring the action your way, we go back to MetLife Stadium and Brandon God. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Here comes Felton to bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. It's been a tight game to this point. What do they need to do, Charles, to break through in the second half and take the lead? Well, I think the first thing they need to do is thank their defense for keeping them in this game. And, you know, I think the defense is saying back to them, why don't you guys focus on getting some first downs, put some drives together, give us a little bit of a break here. If we can get some rest, we'll play even better for you. And, oh, by the way, pay off a few of those drives with some points, too. Now a throw. They're going to be taken in by the tight end to Joku. On the move past the 40. Look at the big fella go. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. David Njoku, 73 yards. And the Browns come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead is now 10 to 7. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Taken in at the three. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. 
And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, uh, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side? And intercepted, Wilson's third of the game. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Browns' defense has a touchdown. So that, a real wrench thrown in now for this offense. They're trying to make a game of this in the third quarter, but that is not going to help. Yeah, partner, probably should have used a different tool on that play, right? That ultimately is the kind of play where you can lose a ball game instead of being in a position to win. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Takes it at the seventh. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control and see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. At one tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass, and if I we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. On third down, Wilson. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Okay, great. They're going on fourth down. It's Wilson. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Browns are going to get this thing back. Excellent field position. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now Watson. He's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense ball pressure that time. And sometimes it gets that. You get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. This is caught. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. What a nice little game. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They'll try to run with Hunt, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Kareem Hunt taking it in from two yards out. And the Browns get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Extra point by York is up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Taking it about the one. 
Solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Zerline connects on the extra point. And down to 10, 24-14. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Here comes Felton to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Now it's Watson. The bootleg steps away. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Cron Alexander picks up his second sack of the afternoon. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away for pretty good yardage. At that time, they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time, it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. And the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And down he'll go at the 25. This offense so far on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven. Forced out to his left. Throw left side. Caught by the tight end to Joku. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Watson to Njoku there for the Cleveland first. Back to throw, Watson. They'll leave it for Hunt, complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take him like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. And again, it's Chubb. Room here to run, and he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in, touchdown, Cleveland. Well, I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Extra point by York is up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. This one fielded at the five. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about that. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. 
Picked off by Anthony Walker. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. And Chubble trying the middle here. And he is going to lose yardage here. Quinn and Williams so hard to block, and he shows it that time, making the tackle for loss. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. A give running right is Chubb. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Browns are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. The extra good. point by York is the up and good. Brown. And the lead is now 24. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. From the six. And he returns this to the 22. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Call it a gain of a yard, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. And able to connect with Barrios. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they pick up a big chunk of yards to boot. 18 of them. He's going to let it fly. Got a man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jets. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But... This one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. It's complete, and he's going to get in for the score. And the lead now cut to 14. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Watson now to throw. And he's going to have the hook up to Schwartz. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. He'll fire a desperation throw for the end zone. And that is incomplete. 
Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory. The streets doesn't be the reverend. Re